Well, this was certainly surprising. Nintendo, on the morning of July 17th, revealed much more about one of their upcoming games. The mysterious Emeo game turned out to be a sequel instead of a brand new IP. Not just any sequel, but a sequel for a dormant, relatively obscure franchise. Nintendo's Famicom Detective Club series hasn't seen a new title in over 30 years. Furthermore, the franchise did not branch out from Japan until 2021. This whole scenario is very strange, but it does reinforce that Nintendo, especially in recent years, is willing to create just about anything they want to. Just last week, we got our first glimpse at Emio the Smiling Man. It looked to be some hardcore horror project, given the microscopic amount of information that we had. What we ended up getting was one of the largest curveballs seen from the company. It is not a horror game, nor is its gameplay anywhere similar to what you would find in your typical horror game. It's a point-and-click adventure game that has players scrambling to figure out who killed a student and why he, and earlier victims, have paper bags on their heads. This new detective game tackles urban legends and conspiracies, asking the player if this is a fresh crime from a legendary serial killer or from a copycat. A noticeable difference the game has from its teaser is its atmosphere and tone. The first teaser depicted the game as cryptic, muted, and very creepy. The actual game, in contrast, appears to be a seemingly straightforward mystery, with colorful visuals, and does not look as intimidating as earlier marketing suggested. This isn't to say that Emio, the Smiling Man, is underwhelming, rather, the situation showcases a brilliant marketing strategy from Nintendo that successfully grabbed the attention of many people. This entry very well could put the Famicom Detective Club series higher on both popularity and priority. Additionally, the excitement will still be around when it releases just a month from now, on August 29, 2024. A big question leading up to this trailer regarded the developers for this game. We may know now the team responsible, thanks to two notable facts. The first is that the series producer, Yoshio Sakamoto, is involved. He is the producer for Emio the Smiling Man as well as its writer. Sakamoto is not just some random person. He is well known for being a co-creator of the Metroid series, a game designer for Kid Icarus, and the creator of the Famicom Detective Club series. The second, stronger clue for the mystery developers responsible for Emio comes from the recent remakes for the previous two games. Those were developed by mages, who were also under the supervision of select Nintendo staff, including Sakamoto. Though it has not been confirmed, it is just about guaranteed that mages, as well as some folks from Nintendo, are behind the curtain for this oddball of a game. Despite the big news we received, the reactions towards the franchise's revival are a bit mixed. Some are disappointed about the game not being Nintendo's grand leap into the horror genre. Others are simply not interested in the visual novel gameplay. Additionally, Sakamoto claims that this new game will have a divisive ending, indicating that disputes over the game will only grow. Even so, there are several who are ecstatic over the revival of Famicom Detective Club. Though Emio's true reveal trailer may have seized some customers' interest, there are still plenty who now want to give this series a try. Now, I am not sure whether I will pick this up or not. I am fond of narrative-heavy games, but I prefer more grounded stories. If the reviews are good enough, then I might give it a whirl. It is exciting to see the price not being $60 for once, as Nintendo fails to understand the value of some of their games from time to time. What about you? Are you excited for this game? What do you hope to see in Emio the Smiling Man? Let me know down in the comment section below. Until then, see you later. If you are new here, why not subscribe to the channel? I mostly upload stuff relevant to video games, including parodies, goofy multiplayer games, news about upcoming titles, and much, much more. The best part? It's free. Consider it.